Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. With Easter just around the corner, followed by summer, there will be a lot of gatherings, parties, big family dinners, receptions, and so on. Serving a nice appetizer before your main course is great, but sometimes ugh, it can be too much. What you need is bite-sized hors d'oeuvre, or if you prefer, boucher. Here's a delicious recipe for you. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my sardine cups. Not only is it super fast and easy to make, but very tasty and healthy. These little guys have the highest source of omega-3s plus vitamins and minerals. I realize that sardines are not for everyone, but if you like them as much as I do, then this is the recipe for you. So my friends, let's get cooking! Here I have a 24 cup mini muffin pan and we'll grease it with cooking spray. Then we'll place wonton wrappers in each cup, pressing down so they sit on the bottom. We'll lightly spray them with cooking spray and transfer into a 350 degree preheated oven. We'll bake them for 8 to 10 minutes or until golden and crispy. We'll remove from the heat and let them cool a couple minutes before removing from the pan. Meantime, we'll proceed with the filling. So in a small mixing bowl, we'll combine sardines, light cream cheese, mayonnaise, which by the way, my homemade mayo recipe is coming up next month, so stay tuned for it. Then we'll also add red pepper and lemon juice. We'll combine the ingredients, mashing the sardines well. To this, we'll add fresh chives, a few dashes of hot sauce, freshly ground black pepper, and a pinch of ground sea salt. We'll stir again to blend the ingredients together. Of course, like I always say, taste and adjust if necessary. All right, let's fill up the wonton wrappers. So we'll scoop about a heaping teaspoon of the sardine mixture in each cup. If you think it might need more or less, adjust the amount accordingly. Now, here's a little tip. Don't use more than you need, because after you fill up these wontons, if there's any left, unfortunately, they won't keep because they'll get soggy. So if you're not sure of the amount you need, just use a little less. Now, these two steps are optional, but I really think you should do it. So we'll sprinkle a little paprika on top and finish it with chives. Also, what I like to do is to add a couple more dashes of hot sauce on top. But again, it's up to you. And my friends, this is how sardine cups, quick and super fast to put together, these little bite-sized hors d'oeuvre are perfect to serve. Very flavorful and healthy, this is a great recipe to make. So next time you want to serve something delicious before your main course without having too much, these would be great. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!